what you would see in an organic expression of the church, first of all, you would see a group of believers who would not see themselves as just individuals coming together once a week to hear a message and then go home and live their individual Christian lives. You would see a living, breathing community of people that love each other like a family. And uh, this is why the greatest metaphor in the New Testament to describe the church is, in fact, a family. Uh, secondly, if you came to one of the meetings, you would not be preached under the table by one person. Uh, neither would you be sitting in pews looking at someone's uh, neck for two hours. You would probably be in a circle or in a square. Mm -hmm. And here's the beauty of an organic church meeting. Everyone, John, Everybody. would be sharing out of the depths and riches of Jesus Every, Christ. Everyone. everyone would be edifying one another yeah. with the living, breathing Word of God. Yeah. Everyone would yeah. be ministering and functioning and participating. Yeah. And God's people, uh, most of us have been habituated to be passive, uh, except if we're just somebody who likes to talk a lot, then we, we are habituated to dominate a meeting like that. Yeah. But uh, there are ways of equipping a group of Christians to function together in such an open meeting where Jesus Christ is glorified, revealed, magnified, displayed, and honored, and worshipped. And it is such a powerful thing. And like we said earlier, where most of sermons we hear, we forget about them two hours later. When you are sharing yourself mm. with other believers and hearing not from just one, but many, you walk away, and as I'm quoting Paul now, you walk away from that meeting and you say, God was in the midst of that group of people.